Hello, my fellow self-care homies. I am Asher, and welcome to my channel, Homebrew Healing. And also our first session of CBT. So for those of you who are both new to the channel or new to CBT, it stands for Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. This is a heavily researched and evidence-based therapeutic approach that looks at the thought-feeling connection and how our thought patterns impact how we feel. Cognitive behavioral therapy also helps us to identify what are called cognitive distortions. A cognitive distortion is a limiting thought or belief system that is often not reflective of the reality that we live in. So cognitive distortions uh, tend to negate part of the story, right? So for this series, we're going to be utilizing a CBT card deck. This is a clinician created card deck. And it is uh, highly recommended by therapists. This deck is separated into three different sections, act, think, and be. The act section offers actionable things that we can do in our day-to-day -day lives to really just improve our, our lives overall. The B section looks at different mindfulness tools and techniques to help us stay or come back to the present moment. Much of the anxiety that many of us experience stems from worrying about either the past or the future and really robbing us of the experience of being in the present. Even more than that though, cognitive behavioral therapy also seeks to help us reframe some of those cognitive distortions, both to a thought process that is not only more reflective of reality, but also not self-limiting. Okay. So we're going to start off with the think section. And our first card is countering all or nothing thinking. So first and foremost, what is all or nothing thinking? And why would it be considered a cognitive distortion? So think of words like always or never. You know, these really black and white extremes or absolutes on opposite ends of the spectrum. So the reason all or nothing thinking is considered a cognitive distortion, to begin with, there are many experiences in life that operate and exist in those gray areas, as opposed to the absolutes of always or never. So all or nothing thoughts are often not actually reflective of the real experiences that we're having. All or nothing thinking is also considered a cognitive distortion because it can really contribute not only to self-limiting beliefs, especially if it becomes a thought pattern, but it can also really serve, especially in a negative context, to color our perception of ourselves, of others in our lives, and of our worldview in general. If I experience some kind of setback or failure throughout my day, and I then think to myself, you know, of course this happened, nothing ever goes my way, I'm automatically setting myself up for failure. That is a thought that does nothing to serve my higher self or my best interests or to empower me to explore alternatives to that situation. It is also probably not reflective of reality because chances are, even if I do have an incredibly upsetting setback or failure in a day, that there are a variety of things that are going my way. So I am empowering and encouraging you to spend today trying to 
recognize if you're experiencing an all or nothing thought and a good indication that you are is if you encounter those absolute terms like always or never. And I really, really encourage you to dive deep into that situation in which you are experiencing that absolute all or nothing thinking and ask yourself if the situation is actually that extreme and whether or not there are some experiences throughout your day that poke holes in it. I really challenge you to work on identifying and recognizing those shades of gray throughout your day. Thank you for joining me today for another episode of Home for Healing and our first session of CBT or Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. Uh, good luck addressing your own all or nothing thoughts. I know you can do it. And, you know, I would really, really love to, to hear from you uh, how you manage to, to reframe some of those really limiting thoughts and the the shades of gray that you manage to to find and see in that experience that illustrate that you know maybe that situation doesn't operate quite in the absolutes that i thought it did but until next time folks thanks for joining me